Hey, over here you can see that when our DC generator is working, it induces some EMF and that EMF we are getting at the terminal point. The waveform of that induced EMF you can see over here. It's like this. So sometimes the things comes into your mind that how I can calculate the induced EMF. What is the equation through which I can calculate the amount of induced EMF. So using this animation we are going to understand how we can derive the equation of induced EMF. So let's jump to the video. Hey, this is Mudraj and you're watching Learning Vibes. The animation you are seeing over here, it is the animation of DC generator. The same animation I have used in the video where I am explaining working of DC generator, that is with animation. So if you want to understand working of DC generator with animation, you can check out my that video. So now we are going to derive the equation of DC generator. But to do that thing, we need to first stop this animation, right? So that we can focus on our animation. So please stop it. Okay. Wow. I'm magical man. <laughs> so now let's wait. So to know the amount of induced EMF into the armature conductor, we are going to use the fundamental law, the law of electromagnetic induction. And according to that law, the fundamental equation of induced EMF is on your screen. You can see that induced EMF is equal to change in flux by change in time. So this equation means that in one conductor, if some changing flux is linked, then in that particular conductor EMF will induces, right? So let's use this law to derive our equation. But before jumping into derivation, we need to know the several parameters. The parameters regarding this DC generator. And the first thing is P is equal to numbers of pole. Over here you can see it is pole 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are basically 4 poles. The next is phi which is equal to flux per pole. See over here you can see that when the current flows, some amount of flux is induced by the pole, right? So the flux induced by one pole, it is phi, which is known as flux per pole. The next thing is Z. Z is equal to total numbers of conductor. Over here, you can see that there are various conductor in armature. So the total numbers of conductor is denoted by Z and which is mentioned over here. The next thing is N which is equal to speed of armature. The rate at which our rotor will rotate that is known as N which is measured in revolution per minute. The next thing is A that is numbers of parallel path in armature. This is our armature and there are multiple conductors are connected in parallel to each other. right? So the amount of that parallel path is denoted by A. Basically in lap wound machine, the numbers of parallel path is equal to the numbers of pole. And in wave wound machine, the numbers of parallel path are two. So now with this brief information, we will move to derive the equation. So what we'll do, to simplify this thing, we will assume only one conductor. See, this black conductor, we assume that there is only one conductor in this complete machine. And we will derive equation for one conductor and then we will add all the EMF induced in different conductors. We will add up and then we will get the final equation. Right? So it is very simple. So let's move ahead. So initially we are focused on change in flux. What is the amount of flux that changes when our conductor gets complete one revolution? And for that you need to focus over here. So now we'll rotate this conductor, right? So when we are rotating this conductor over here, you can observe that this conductor passes through all the poles. 
the flux produced by each pole that is equal to 5 right so when this conductor shifts from this place to this place actually it's crossing phi amount of flux the total amount of flux cut by that conductor is phi so in one complete revolution how much amount of flux does it cuts if you know the answer write that thing in comment section below and if you don't know then i am going to tell that thing so when this conductor completes one revolution it total links the total linked flux with that conductor is flux produced by one pole times the total numbers of pole so let me write that thing over here but for that let's stop this simulation stop it very good i am a magical man you know so the change in flux in one revolution is equal to flux produced by pole times the numbers of pole which is equal to p into phi so i think this much of things is clear to you now next we are focused on change in time the time required to change this much of amount of flux or if i simplify this thing then time to complete one revolution the amount of time taken by this conductor to complete one revolution that is what we are going to find right so for that thing what we'll do we'll again focus on this thing so we will start this thing and we'll check what amount of emf induces but before i'll start this dc generator i want to ask for one favor and the favor is this if till now you are enjoying this video then do not forget to hit the like button why i am asking for this it's a long story but please if you like this thing hit the like button if you have any query then you can uh, write all your queries in comment section below and you know one more important thing i want to discuss that uh, uh, we have our learning vibes learning community on facebook instagram and on uh, telegram right where we used to develop the skills of students in free no charge so you can join our uh, telegram facebook or instagram page uh, you can connect with our learning vibes learning community and you can learn so many things over there and even we can also learn so many things from you at that point right so if you wish you can join our learning vibes learning community with no added cost or not at all a single rupees anybody is charging in that community so with this small advertisement now we'll start this rotor so our rotor has started again it started inducing emf but now you can you calculate the time to complete one revolution from this it is very much difficult right so what we'll do we'll again stop this simulation right and uh, uh, come back i'll give you some brief how we can calculate the time initially we know the speed of armature is an rpm it rotates at the speed of n revolution per minute the next thing is we can say that to complete n revolution it takes times of 1 minute so in other word we can write that n revolution completed in 60 second now what do we want how much time it will take to complete one revolution so it is very simple just cross multiplication right so if we do this cross multiplication we will get the time to complete one revolution is 1 into 60 divided by n it is 60 by n seconds so it is very much simple right so this is the time so we got total amount of change in flux we got time to complete that change in flux so now we have got all the things the total amount of flux changes in one revolution and the time to complete one revolution bang now we'll combine them and we'll get the equation so let's get the equation <clears throat> so here e is equal to change in flux by change in time change in flux is p5 and change in time is 60 by n so induced emf in one conductor is equal to e is equal to p5 n by 60 it's very simple but now a small twist there is not only one conductor in complete armature there are total z conductors numbers of armature conductors are z right so what we need to do 
just multiply with z and we'll got the total induced emf no it's not like that because all the z conductors are not connected in series some of the conductors are connected in parallel to each other so how many of them are connected in parallel how much how many parallel path are there so basically there are a parallel path so what we require to do there are total z conductors but there are a parallel path so how many conductors are connected in series that is equal to z by a so total of z by a conductors are connected in series so now we know how many conductors are connected in series so what we need to do just multiply it with that equation and what we'll get the induced emf across parallel path is across all parallel path oh, oh my god full of knowledge wow so completely satisfied after watching this video or shooting this video right so induced emf across each parallel path is equal to e is equal to p phi n by 60 into z by a so e here is our equation for induced emf right if you like and if you enjoy this video do not forget to like if you have any queries regarding any electrical topic you can write your queries in comment section below if you want me to answer your queries personally you can join our telegram group where i am very much live and i am used to solve the queries of all the students so you can join me anytime on my learning vibes telegram group so that's all from my side until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye